you're ready to move a course out of Blackboard into Sakai, but you have some assessments that you also need to move from Blackboard to Sakai. I'm going to show you how to use Sakai's markup text to facilitate that process. In the Sakai site, I have tests and quizzes open. By default, that tool isn't enabled. You enable that as you do all tools through Site Info, Edit Tools, and then you can select that from the list here, as well as some other tools. I'm going to click Cancel since I've already added that, and go back to Tests and Quizzes. So I'm going to create a new assessment, Week 2 Test. And instead of using the Assessment Builder, which is like the Test Canvas and Blackboard, I'm going to create using Markup Text. So I've selected that, and I'm going to click Create. And I'm going to skip right down to entering the questions and answers in the proper markup format. There are instructions for what this format is over to the right, so for the question types that you can use the markup for. So for example, if we take a look at true false, you can see the correct answer is going to be prefixed with an asterisk. This is true for all of these question types. And with true false questions, you don't even have to include the answer that's incorrect. Something that they don't point out as optional are the point values. Now, I don't bother including these at all because it's easier to include them as a, in a separate step, as I'll show you. Okay, I'm going to toggle that back off and I'm going to go to Blackboard and show you what I did. So I have my quiz here in Blackboard for reference and I open up Notepad, a simple text editor. And I already have my Notepad, completed Notepad document here. What I did rather than say going in and copying all of this and pasting it in, is I just pasted the question text and the answer separately. It really was much easier than having to clean up a whole copy and paste. So I would enter the question number, period, new line, paste in the question text, new line, and then paste in the answers. So as we saw with true false, correct answers proceeded with an asterisk and true. If the correct answer were false, it would be asterisk false. Question two, that's multiple choice. Two, period, new line, paste it in the question, new line, and then paste it in the answers. And I made sure that I preceded the answers with a, a letter, lowercase letter, a, period, space, and then the answer, and so on. So the correct answer here, as you see, is B. It's preceded by an asterisk. Multiple answer, where there are more than one correct answers, you can indicate those with a leading asterisk. In a fill in the blank, you make sure you include your blank, and then you just have asterisk, correct answer. And it's pretty straightforward. I do have a question type here that I can't use markup for, and that's matching, and I'm going to have to use the assessment builder in order to recreate that question. But I'm going to skip that step now for brevity. So what I do at this point is I take my questions and I select all, and I copy them, and I switch back to Sakai and go to my questions, the text box, and I paste that in and click Next. And just that quickly, it's processed. It's even processed correctly. Look, the question types are what they should be. The answers are what they should be. And I didn't specify a, specify a point value, so everything is zero. I'm gonna go back and change, or I'm gonna change that now. I'm gonna go ahead and create assessment. Click that option. And now it appears along with the week one test in pending assessments. Published assessments, those are ones that have been released to students. So I need to change those point values. So I'm going to go into Select Action for Week 2 Test and choose Edit. And I just make change the point values here. I can quickly change all of these and just make sure I click Update Points. And once I've gotten the assessment ready for prime time, ready for students to take, I can go in and change some settings. And once I've got the settings to my satisfaction, I can click Publish and Save Settings and Publish.